Hey, what is up, lads? Cast and Growl here, back playing Danganronpa 2. Goodbye, despair. I'm I'm a little sick right now. Uh, even right after making that Life is Strange episode, still have sniffles. Anyways, in the last episode, a major event happened. We welcomed. <clears throat> well, what's his name? Fully, he go back into this real world, to back to the island. There was a concert held. However. Round the middle, Mar, an event happened where Akane just decided to fight Monokuma. Monokuma was, a, was gonna beat her ass and end it off, but her ass was saved by what's that man's name? Nekomaru. He's still surviving, but he barely lived. <clears throat> he, he had a big ass burn mark on his chest. Thankfully, Monokuma is taking care of him, but we don't know what his fate right now. And. Right now we're in the hospital, checking out what's happening. There's apparently there's a despair disease. That's a motive for Monokuma's bullshit. So, yeah, let's go on with everything. Earlier I discussed it with Fuyuhiko, and we decided to we take turns resting. Oh, there you go. That's right. That's why I came on to the call on call room on the second floor of the hospital. I haven't been sleeping well as the fast past few days, so a sudden drowsiness took over me. I was asleep, which is a good thing, but my body feels really heavy for some reason. No, not just heavy. It feels somewhat soft and... Ooh! Right on the mark, man. I can't! Ooh! Even a slight petty shot, ooh. Me kinda... We gotta protect you, hon. You're wholesome! You're, so, you're such a wholesome... You're so wholesome. I'm dying. You're literally killing me. Ooh. Ooh. Hajime, are you okay? Your complexion is a blushes... Bluish purple shade. It might be a severe karmatic reaction. Hajime, can you hear me? Get a hold of yourself. Mikan finally got off of me, grabbed my shoulders, and began shaking me intensely. Somehow that was enough to get my consciousness to drift back into reality. Uh, Hajime! Ah, uh, Hajime, you regained consciousness. I'm, I'm so glad. I thought you died. Me too. I seriously thought I was gonna die. I'm sorry. I thought about taking a rest in the on call room, but you're re you were already asleep. So that doesn't mean you d can just climb on top of me. <laughs> then I'll be on the bottom next time. That's seriously not what I'm talking about. Hey, hey. We were supposed to be wholesome. Foyhiko. You. What are you guys doing? Foyhiko. No, this is... I really hope you don't get the wrong idea. Don't tell me! Were you guys sleeping together? Bastard! Dirty rotten bastard. You guys are fucking high school students. Seriously, you got this all wrong. Damn it! Technically, we were sleeping, I guess. We don't have time for that. Nagito, he's in danger. Danger? What? When I peek inside his room, it looked like he wasn't breathing. Huh? Huh? It is bad. Now is not the time for us to rest. Mikan vigorously leapt out of the bed and ran out of the on-call room. Damn it! Hajime, now is not the time for you to be pitching a tent. We need to hurry. Seriously, I'm not. Well, he couldn't and I chased after Mikan as she ran into Nagito's room. Oh boy! Oh, I don't have to be here. Nagito, please hold, get a hold of yourself. Despite Mikan's desperate pleas, I didn't see Nagita react at all. Don't tell me! But there's no way he died, right? The body discovery announcement isn't playing, right? Fidget, fidget. Oh, okay, Monica. Oh! Damn it, he's, he's totally waiting for it. it! This looks very bad. Oh, what do you want me to do? Fucking. He looks really bad, though. He's fucking blue in the head. 
Despite me concept of Christ. Hmm. Alright. What do you want us to do, Makun Mikan? Mikan is Nagito alright? Um, um, it looks like his breathing has returned. Really? But still, his condition is unpredictable. And that's putting it lightly. Hey, hey. How is light how light is that? Is it sweet potato well? soft? If so, that's pretty light. Uh, yeah. Please don't interfere. Hey. Hey, look. Isn't Nagita's mouth moving? He raised. Might be trying to say something. <laughs> Nagito, what happened? As she said his name, Mikan slowly tilted her ear towards Nagita's lips. What did he say? Apparently his condition has improved, and he feels quite refreshed. Um, since Mankuma said that Nagito has the liar disease. Probably means the opposite, and actually feels really crappy. Like... But, what's going to happen if he just dies? We're not going to have to cross trial, right? <laughs> Don't talk like that! Yes! That kid was never going to die. Don't save him by any means necessary. I see. I see. Got it. I'll leave Nagito's life to you. Yay, wholesome nurses back at it. Far from the usual self, Mikan responded assertively and went back to tending Nagito. If we stay here any longer, we might just get in the way. Damn right. Follow me. While you're resting, the goods arrive. I gotta show them to you. The goods aren't something dangerous, right? Anyway. Let's go to the lobby. Hell yeah, that's fucking skedaddle, dude. Wait, there's there a monokuma? Monokuma? No. Alright, no Monokuma. God bless. And I ran out of fucking water. Alright. Oh. Almost jump scared. Love you. Oh, excuse some more. Uh. Ooh. Got new gadgets. Hey, Fuyugo. What did you mean when you said gadgets? Damn right. Look on top of the reception desk. On top of the reception desk. Dude, it's literally right there behind that Fuhiko. Fuhiko's talking about this, right? It looks like a modern camera unit. Hey, what is this? Huh. Perfect timing. Blue light is blinking. Does something happen when it this blinks? Seeing is believing, as they said. Try pressing the button just below the, that light. I just have to press the button. I did put what Fihiko said and press the button. Oh! Hey, is this Hajime? Heh <laughs> loud and clear. Looks like it's perfectly connected. Kazuichi. And this is. Hmm, huh. yes, that's right. Bootleg Skype. That's the way to communicate, he was talking about. Looks like it's the time. It's time for the ultimate mechanic to shine. How about this? This is what I've been working on. <laughs> Remember that alley with all those shady-looking street boots? That's where I found this. This surveillance counter for household use, and I just tweaked it a little. <laughs> so now it's basically a video chat device. Well, it's pretty hit or miss. Video chat, huh? Get it? It's true. We don't have to worry about getting infected with this. That's right. So it may be a hassle, but we'll be contacting each other f with this from now on, okay? This was the only this is only a test run this time, so I guess this should be pretty fun. Okay then, see you later. Bless your soul. Huh. Kazuichi left this while you were resting. Damn right. The surveillance camera unit comes with a surveillance camera and a surveillance monitor. I think the camera records is broadcast live on the monitor. So we prepared two of these sets and swapped each of their cameras. I see. By swapping the cameras, the monitor will display what's on my camera and vice versa. Apparently he modified it a little bit. A little. He widened its narrow communication range just beyond household use. Even so. He still had a meet limit, so apparently the signal can't reach from the hospital to the motel. Then we can't communicate between the hospital and the motel. You didn't notice. He was, con he was contacting you just now from the music vendor you near the motel. 
from there, the signal reaches the hospital with no problems. But they're saying they're staying at the motel, right? What happens if we can't reach them when we need to? Damn right. I thought the same thing, so we arranged times for us to contact each other. Ah, oh, my nose, dude. Fucking stuffing. Ah, it's set up for us to communicate 30 minutes after Monaco's morning and evening amount announcements. <laughs> Our next contact with them is going to be tomorrow morning. Don't sleep in. He's well prepared. I suspected of uh, the hair of an enormous organization. Huh? Hmm? What is it? Nothing. Oh. Ahem. Hope speaker, it is now. Ah, 10 p.m. Okay. Now then. It's that time already, huh? Now then, where should I sleep tonight? <laughs> I plan to use the on-call room with a certain someone again. Like I said, it's not what I look like. You guys. Hey, hey, aren't you misunderstanding? You Hospital is a facility for sick people, so it's not for lodging or young ri romantic trysts, you know? You too? What are you talking about? I don't like this. Oh, I see. Your generation has fallen off the habit of looking at bulletin boards. Come on, take a look at the bulletin board. There's a notice on there, right? Notice on the bulletin board. Oh boy, what does this young man have to say? Ah, hospital precautions, eating and drinking is forbidden within the hospital building. The patients do not need to be accompanied. Overnight stays by non-patients are expressly forbidden. In other words, right? It's like the notes, like the notes you often see inside hospitals. You can't stay here overnight. Saying? There is one patient who needs to be accompanied. Oh, you're talking about Nagito, right? Then I'll allow just one person to accompany him. The rest of you need to hurry up and get the hell out of here. Jeez. I well precaution my ass. It should have said so sooner. Only one person can stay tonight. There's no way we can leave Mikan alone. Jeez, you're pathetic. Gus, we have no choice. We should head back to our cottages then. Uh, you're right. Even if we stay here, we probably won't be able to do anything. After explaining the circumstances to Mikan, we decided to go back to our cottages for the time being. Ah, oh, hell yeah, okay, we're back in these lovely cottages. So Fuyuhiko and I are going to be the only ones sleeping in our cottages tonight, huh? I am a little worried. No, oh, the ones who are stuck in the hospital should be more worried. What's the point of me getting so worried? Alright. When I wake up tomorrow, I'll go to the hospital right away. I feel bad leaving Mikan alone. I guess for now, I should try to get some sleep. Okay, Manakuma Theater already. Book. Good evening. It's time for Manakuma's cooking class. I'm going to spam right now. Fuck off. Today we're going to learn how to make Taiyaki. The first thing you need is a time machine. We'll travel back in time to the Meiji period and meet a person named Kajiro Kanabe. He used to bake and sell turtle-shaped pastries, but unfortunately they never sold all that well. It's important that you generally cheer him up because he's going to be disappointed in himself when you meet him. From there, get serious and insist that he'll he try bringing his pastry fish dishes better because they sell better. Once that happens, he'll happily bake his pastries in the shape of a fish. As the final touch, name these pastries Taiyaki. Okay, with this, you've done making Taiyaki. To you by ah, fuck off. Pure utter ass. Pathetic. Hello. Alright, it's a mo brand new morning. God bless. I'm worried about Mikan and the others. I should hurry over to the hospital. Oh, okay. Just bring me there. The moment I got out of the bed, I immediately left my cottage and hurried over to the hospital. I guess we'll regroup with this man. Yo. Yo, you came early today. You're the one who's early. Damn right. Well, I just got here. So what should we do? There's still a little time before we need to make contact. 
I'm gonna go to Nagito's room and check up on him. Yeah, I'm worried about how he's doing. Worry. Why do I have to worry about a guy like him? Still. That's good. <coughs> we can't have Nagito just die on us, dude. Got the fucking Ayla Mouse dying. Literally. Alright, where's the fucking Nagito thing? Here. I just checked the other rooms too. If the game couldn't permit it. Ooh, still a blue blue. What's this music doing? Beacon, how's Nagito doing? Same as usual. No, actually, it might be worse than yesterday. This is bad! <laughs> Are you fucking serious? His pulse is extremely weak. He might slip into critical condition someday. Is he that sick? <laughs> but as long as I'm his nurse, I will never let Nagito die. <laughs> Ever! I do understand how you feel, but don't overexert yourself, okay? Hey, Ajime, it's almost time to start the connection. We need to head over to the lobby. Yeah, got it. After being reminded of how powerless I am, I left my Nagita's room. Damn, he's fucking dying, dude. Can I go to Akane? Oh, Waifu! Hello. Oi. Ooh. Got bananas over there. There's a plant. Okay. Fine. Oh, I don't care about the bed. I want a tiny. Look at those tits. Oh, God. She's still desperate. Hey, Akane, what happened? You're making such a scary face. I'm sorry. It's all because I'm so weak. Was I making a scary face? You're worried you're showing up on your face, you bastard. You're just gonna keep scaring her. Let's go already. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. Hmm. That robe looks good on you, not Akane. Just saying. Hello? The fuck's a Buki? Buki. Oh, she's here. Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Yeah. Ooh. Crazy yes. in your rope. Excuse me, you don't look so well. Did something happen? It's nothing, I'm fine. Understood. I understand, you are fine. I'm not going to be. Don't worry. Wouldn't it be strange if the boogie got worse like Nagito, huh? I guess that's all. Thanks! That's. Let's go on fucking Skype and talk to boys, to the sir, to the clean ones. Oh, it's blinking. The incoming signal light is blinking. Now, looks like they're already waiting. Let's hurry up and start the connection. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's boot it up, boys. Let's press the button underneath the blinking light, and the monitor will light up instantly. It looks like the camera monitor had no problem making a connection. Soon enough, a familiar face showed up on the other side of the monitor. Ah, Kazuichi! Hello! How is it? Can you see my handsome face? Yeah, I can see you real clear. <laughs> We're good on our end, too. I can totally see your broke ass faces. Rude. It might be best if I tell the others about Nagita's condition. Hey, are you the only one over there? Nope. Hiyoki! No, we're all here except for Hiyoko. What happened to Hiyoko? <laughs> it seems we all like look like a porn enemy is in the eyes of the uh. coward. She has locked herself in the room. She said from the other side of the door that she won't come out until the spare disease has been cured. She's even being conscious around the others in the motel, huh? Looks like they're also in a testy situation. Hey, hey. So about you. How you guys how are you guys doing? Yeah, about that. To tell you the truth, Nagu's actually in serious danger. You I already know he's seriously dangerous. Huh. <laughs> no, not that. He's seriously wandering the border between life and death. What? What did you say? However. But he is going to be okay, right? 
think he was going to get better? Hey, hey! Of course, Nekamaro didn't Agito. That ain't funny at all. Well, for now, we really can't say. <laughs> Mari, why are you on that side? Because it'd be dangerous if I got too close to the hospital. Because I don't even know what's going on there. You are really pissing me off. Like, why does a stupid stuff animal need to be cautious about a disease? You can't! Please, don't discriminate. You're a fucking robot, fuck off. You're all about your despair disease and shit. I need water. Oh, fuck my bacon. I need to check on that bacon. Oh, there goes the transmission, fuck. Before I can respond to Monami, we you gonna have to cut the connection. With me. That shitty stuffed animal. She really pissed me off. Ah, damn, we're going outside to cool off. But you could practically spack those words out before you went outside. Anyway, all we can do now is wait. Just wait patiently until the situation improves and changes for the better. Ah, what fucking no. That's why we waited patiently. Because waiting patiently was the only thing we can do. We waited patiently. On a side note, why can't I relax when I'm in the hospital? I paced back and forth around the hospital lobby. Fuyiko entered and left the hospital many times. And time just kept passing by. Oh my god, that would be fucking hell to me if I just stayed in the hospital from morning to the fucking night, man. Ah, fuck off. Damn it! Feels like a lot of stuff got skipped over now. It's night time already. It's almost time for tonight's transmission. Jeez, you're pathetic. We should go back to our cottages when that's done. It's fucking annoying to keep going back and forth though. But before we can go back, can we check on Nagito one more time? Go for it. Let leave this transmission to me. Jeez. You're not going to have a new clue anyway. I can handle this. Then I'll leave it to you. Alright, I'll go check in the bacon real quick. Okay. Turns out I burnt the spam. Fuck me. Ah. Oh, fuck. A bookie, what are you doing? Whoa, a bookie? What, what are you doing here? You need to be resting. Yes. To tell you the truth, I have been getting quite bored doing nothing but sleeping. Also, it would just trouble you if I slept all the time. <laughs> so I was hoping I can help you with anything. But it's better if I am sleeping, correct? Yeah, just get some rest for now. It'd be a big help if you get better soon. Understood. All right, bless up. That's kind of scary. Hope she gets real better, very real soon. Monocom is still dying with that little now. Mikan. Mikan's too focused on caring for Nagito. She hasn't even noticed I have in, I, that I entered the room. Has she been caring for him this whole time? Hey, Mikan. Hey, Mikan. No matter how many times I talk to her, she's not responding. Her back is turned tw toward me as she focused on caring for Nagito. I peeked over Nagito, Mag Mikan's shoulder and said, Hey, Mikan, are you okay? Yeah! Jump scare! Looks like you finally noticed. Uh, please don't surprise me. I almost got wet. Wet? Um. Uh, did you come back to check on Nagito? I just wanted to see how he's doing, but you look pretty tired too. Isn't it better if you get a little rest? Um. Um, I hope I'm not mistaken. That'd be really embarrassing. Are you by chance worried about me? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much. I'll remember this moment until the day I die. <laughs> eh, I'm starting to get my energy back, so I'll get back to taking care of Nagito. Oh. Wholesome woman. I hope she understood what I said. She's working so hard. It'd be bad if I kept getting in her way. That's exactly how I felt. So I decided to just shut up and go back to the lobby. Alright, sorry Mikan. Oh, you should call. Yo. Yo, how's Nagito doing? I'm more worried about Mikan than Nagito. She looks like she had no time to rest. Damn it. Nagito's probably not doing so well. What about you? Are you guys done with the transmission? Jeez. 
As I expected, we wrapped it, wrapped it up quickly, like they had nothing new for, to report. Apparently trying to find a cure somehow, but there hasn't been any progress. So on both our ends, it looks like we had no results. Jeez, you're pathetic. Well, let's look forward to tomorrow. With a depressingly heavy mood riding on our backs, we headed back to our cottages. <laughs> Ah, my worries have piled so high that one side just isn't enough. And the more I think about it, it's like I'm slowly being sucked deeper and deeper into an endless pit. I guess for today, I should just go to sleep. It's best if I not dwell on it too much. It's just not, not just that first thing in the morning I need to go to the hospital. I kept telling myself that I sighed, that as I sighed one last time and clo slowly closed my eyes. Oh, perks are having dreams. Out of the blue, a hazy scene began to take shape. From the depths of my consciousness, it slowly took its time hazily, like watercolor paint suspended in water. Slowly, hazily. What picture is that? Oh, this is different. There was a classroom from somewhere. A classroom that I've seen before, but I don't know where. I can hear voices. Somebody's talking. Did you hear? Isn't it amazing? Apparently he's been accepted into Hope's Pig Academy. But was he that exceptional? Those are noises. I'm dully staring out the window. Pretending not to listen. I don't want to listen. But even I don't want to listen, the noise leap into my ears. Huh? Huh? You don't know? Yeah, about you know what? Apparently, you don't have to be exceptional to get into Hope's Peak Academy. But it's an academy that re recruits only exceptional students from around the world, right? I want to cover my ears. I want to run to the place I deserve to be. Not here. To the place where I can be more confident. Wow, I never knew that way was possible. So he's the same too? Obviously. I mean,. He doesn't have any special talents that Hope's Peak would be interested in. He's just a normal guy who can be found anywhere. Whoa, that's fucking harsh. Well, I'm marrying the Academy is free, but it must be tough for the parents who have to write the check. Leave me alone. I just, just want to become someone who's confident in myself. What is this anyway? Who are you talking about? Why can't I remember? Who am I? That's true intellectual questions. Who am I? Monokuma theory, fuck off. Hey, hey. Did you know that talking to about a personal failure is a good way to break the ice when meeting new people? So I'm gonna tell you my story of personal failure. In the wild world I live in, popularity is a symbol of power. That's why I decided to become a fake love letter to myself so I could brag about it to others. I was bragging it to my friend, but unfortunately all I had was an envelope. You're fucking sad. When my friend wanted me to show him the unwritten letter, I was in a real bind. So I showed him a blank piece of paper and said this. This letter was written in special ink. Only those chosen by God can see. Fuck off. When I said that, he was all that, like, that love letter is brimming with passion. However, things started looking bad at that point. And our people around us started praising him because they thought he could really read the letter. That's when he started hugging everyone's attention as a divine messenger of God. And eventually he wor was worshipped by the society. Now he uses his followers to sell shady vapes for a quick buck. Fixes. Thanks to my big mouth, I became a multi-millionaire. Or he. How regretful. I have an epic failure. That was my sorry, personal failure. What do you think about it? Is the ice broken? Since you listen to me, wanna buy this vase? <laughs> it's pretty high in demand. But I'll give you a deal on it because I lucky so much. Oh, I've been conned by the great Monokuma. This morning, huh? I need to check on my, check on my spam. But for some reason, check on the spam. Oh, thank God, the spam is still safe, even though one side is burnt. Ah, my body's heavy. No, not just heavy. It's somewhat soft and really hot. Wait a minute. 
Oh, what the f- Ah, oh, fuck off! She's so soft! Mikan, this is the second time. And you're in my cottage, damn it. No, Why are you hot? Mikan, again? Hurry up and move! Look, move her thigh! I can't breathe! Move her thigh! Wow! Is that what you think of me? Oh, now you realize. Yeah! Crinosis again! Uh, how'd you just got limp? Please get over yourself. What do you mean limp? Ah. Uh, did he regain consciousness? Oh, I'm so glad. I thought you died from exuffocation. Mikan. Uh, why are you? Why are you here? The Monokuma announcement hasn't aired yet. Uh, now that you mention it. No, I came here to wake you up, but it seems like I accidentally fell asleep. What kind of accident is that? But, but good news. You see, Nagiro's condition has stabilized. Really? I rushed over to let you guys know, but Vehiko's room was locked, so... Oh yeah, the lock is broken. Thanks, Ibuki. Anyway, please hurry over. Nagiro can probably be saved. Yeah, got it. Bet. Okay. Quickly got dressed and headed over to the hospital with Mikan. Although I did wonder why it was necessary to be so pumped up for someone like Nagito. Well, best not to think about it. Hey, it's a life save. Hello! Nagito's um. in his patient room. Okay. Let's see how that boy is doing. Alright, now what? Can you stand? Oh, there you go, you can stand at least. There I saw Nagito, who managed to sit up in, in his bed. Nagito, can you hear me? Hajime came by to see how you were doing. Huh? The twin Ibukis are singing again. I see, Ibuki must have been a twin duo. Have Veronica's. Is he supposed to be cured? Well, it's not like he's completely cured. You're just able to recover from his con critical condition. <laughs> they were utilizing their characteristic as twins and they've been taking turns appearing before me. Which means there are actually some peop 17 people on this island. <laughs> that Veronica's. That's the answer. Hmm. After seeing this, it might have been better if he'd stayed quiet for just a bit longer. I'm so glad. I'm so relieved Nagito regained consciousness. I'm so glad. I feel dizzy. Somehow everything is spinning around me. Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? And if you insist, I will use the uncall room upstairs. This me must be mentally exhausted. So it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. Yeah, I'll do that. Though, even though it's the morning, good night. Mikan wobbled around for a bit, then left the room. She's definitely exhausted. Well, it's understandable. I mean, she fell asleep when she was supposed to wake, come wake me up. Man. All alone it was Hajime, huh? Can't stand being in the same room as you. Don't worry, I'm leaving. You should focus on curing that crappy disease of yours. <clears throat> yeah, hurry up and go away. I don't want to see your face anymore. Wow, asshole. <laughs> hey, Jack. You're back. The Monty Monokuma announcement should be starting soon. Should wait in the lobby for the transmission. Hell yeah, why not? Ooh, huh? It's blinking. This, the camera's blinking. That's weird. It's not transmission time yet. Alright, what's poppin'? If the light is blinking, it's received some sort of transmission from the other side, right? It's pretty early. We haven't received a Monokuma thing yet. Might be urgent though. If so, there's no way I can make them wait until Yuhiko gets here. 
Or even if, even if it's just me, I should receive the transmission. I reach my hand and press the reception button on the surveillance camera unit. Oh? Huh? Upon first glance, I merely knew it wasn't a normal video. A slowly, a slowly swaying dim light is shining on the black curtains. I feel like some sort of ritual is about to begin. Is this light from a candle? Well, what was creepiest of all was a hope ranging from the ceiling. The end of the rope was tied in a loop, and beneath it, there was a stepladder. It was like a gallows. What is this? I didn't understand at all. What's going on with the music venue? And that's when it happened. Mmm. The moment I saw a silhouette slowly entering the frame with the side on from the side of the screen, chills ran down my spine, as if someone was dragging ice on me. A person wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag under her head. What the? As I raised my voice in surprise, the person in the hospital gown slowly started moving and began climbing the step ladder. Slowly, slowly, they took their time climbing it and reached over to the rope hanging from the ceiling. Are you kidding me? At that moment. Huh? The screen suddenly went pitch black. Probably because of the candle. The only source of light had gone out. Hey. No matter what I said, there was no response from the darkness on the other end of the monitor. The heck is this? What's going on? What in the world is this? No, it doesn't matter. I have to do something about this. Might be able to make it. I need to hover over to the music venue. I rushed out of the hospital and ran over to the music venue where the tr transmission was made. Oh? Good. Ah, it's the morning thing. Just now, that was the morning morning Monokuma announcement. But he could be should be arriving here shortly. No, I don't have time for it to wait for him. Gotta get to the music venue. That's here, right? Yeah! Oh, what the hell's happening? I don't want the cameras. I don't want to see Let's get to the evidence. Please, please let me make it. I rush into the music venue with a prayer in my heart. But I completely forgot. Prayer means nothing on this island. Ah, shit. Ah, oh, that's depressing. The only one with a, with a robe and blonde black hair. Who would that be? Fucking Ibuki. Damn it! I was too late? What the hell is this? In the hot air inside the music venue, I couldn't keep myself from shouting. Hot air? Why is it so hot? What is this strange hot air inside the music venue? No, now's not the time to worry about that. More importantly, why isn't anybody coming? What is everyone doing? Ah, the, the BDA? That's right, there hasn't been an announcement yet. That's why nobody noticed yet. Then I need to hurry. Let the others know. You hear the motel is close by. There should be a a lot of able-bodied people who can help me there. Should sure hurry. Ran to the motel as fast as I could, tr desperately trying not to trip over my own feet. Hey, somebody get out here! As soon as I arrived to the motel, I started shouting for help as loud as I could. Ooh, Gundam! I was wondering who was making such an internal infernal racket. So it was you. Gundam, something awful has happened. What? Don't tell me. You intend to spread the pathological bacteria so you can take us down with you? I won't let you! If you want to pass, you must defeat me first. <laughs> well, what happened? Is there a problem? Fighting is not allowed. It's worse than trouble. There's a body. Didn't you hear me? A body was found. Could, could it be? <laughs> now, now you're panicking. I renounce you. Could it be? Do you intend to spread lies like an Aguido in order to confuse us all? Hold on. Chiaki! Hajime, is that true? 
course. Isn't it obvious? Chiaki. You have seen Aguirre's condition, yes? This fiend just has the same symptoms as him. But still... But there's no way we shouldn't check it out. Because if Hajime is telling the truth, that means it happened again, right? What? That killing? Hey. If that's true, you need to check it out. Fine. If that is the case, that will not stop you. Leave this to me! Eh, you fiends go ahead. <laughs> no need to worry, I will catch up with you easily. That sounds like famous last words. Chiaki, can you go? It's better if we hurry, right? Heck yeah! That's good battle, dude. Hajime! Ah, uh, Hajime. Nikon, why are you here? Perfect timing. Help us, Hajime. Help us? Hey, hey. Ah, Hajime. Someone's coming over from there. Hajime and Chiaki? What are you guys in here? Bigo, why are you here too? Isn't it obvious I'm looking for a Buki? Looking for a Buki. Ooh. I was planning to rest in the on-call room, but I wanted to check on everyone before I could attack. Man, a Buki's missing from the hospital all of a sudden. Huh? Perhaps. So what Hajime was saying earlier. Everyone, let's hurry. Huh? Hurry where? To a music venue. Don't ask, just follow me. Music venue? Is a boogie going to be there? Oh, let's... Hope not? I don't know. Titty! Surprised they actually left a name like that here. Damn it. My wound hasn't completely healed yet. Don't make me run too much. Hey. Is a boogie inside here? The only way to know is to go inside and confirm if that hanged body is really Ibuki. Alright, let's, let's fucking barge into yeah? Let's go. I clench my teeth and reach my hands towards the door. What the fuck? Locked? Huh? What the heck? Why is it locked? It doesn't make sense. I mean, I was able to go through here just a few minutes ago. For now. Hey, why don't we go from another entrance? No. There's the only entrance to the music venue. There isn't even a window to go through. Why is it locked? Hm. I don't understand it myself, but no one opened. The only thing we can do is force our way through. Mm. I wonder if that's going to be ho possible. Up to four of us. Two of us are girls, you know? It doesn't do matter if we can do it or not. We have to try. Damn right. Let's go. We're all, we'll all charge at the same time. Ready? Set? Ah! Go! As we take the signal, we charge into the door at full force. Oh, the door moved. Maybe it will open easily after all. Yep. Yeah, even with two girls here. Alright, one more time. After we leave the signal, we charge the door once more. Got him. We're in, boys. It was like a live performance had just ended. <clears throat> the moment of silence just before the audience breaks into to thunderous applause. A few minutes after that silence, a scream surfaced. <laughs> Mikan! Jesus, don't jump scare. What? Oh, what the fuck? Just two? When did you get there? Piss off. Crazy. There wasn't just a hanged body. There was also another body. A suspended body belonging to Hiyoko. Wait. Wasn't Hiyoko locked into her motel, though? Uh, chapter 3, Trapped by the Ocean Sand, Deadly Knife now! <sighs> Fucking ding dong, boys! Has been discovered. Now then, Fucking hell, ow! Oh, that scared the hell out of me. The class trial will begin. <sighs> the fuck? A body has now been, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial Didn't you just will say begin. that? That was weird. He said that twice. Oh, just because there's two bodies. Two BDAs in a row. That means... The hanged body with a hemp bag on its head. Here goes suspended body. Both of these bodies have been discovered at the same time. What is this? What? Yoko and... Who the hell is the other one wearing the hemp bag? Could it be? Could it be the two victims? But when I entered here, 
I didn't see Hyoka's body. Oh, you only saw that hang body over there. Not even 10 minutes passed, but still, why? Oh, my enemy. What is this? Impossible, impossible, impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut up, idiot. This is just... For now, you should lower that person wearing that hemp back onto the ground. Leaving it like that is just too sad. Yes. Ah, but what about preserving the scene of the crime? Who fucking cares about that? Um. There is a control power for the baton lighting on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body with that. That one! Fuhiko ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the button on the control panel. RAR XD But the motorized sound like the growl of starving beasts, the baton's lighting slowly descended. I descended enough for us to, to reach it, go we'll work together to lower the body. Now I'm going off to take going off to take it this hemp bag. Whatever. You know what I mean. Uh even though I expected it, still didn't want it to confront that reality. In the hemp bag, there's no denying that the face I saw it belong to a boogie. Fucking life is dead. No! It's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over a boogie. You're wrong. It's not on your fault, Mikan. No matter how we feel, the one at fault is. What's the matter? Jeez, it's like someone died in here or something. So you finally shot it up. The fruit of all evil. How dare you call your bro, big bro, the root of all evil. I even went to all the trouble bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Ah! Kazuichi! Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? Is... It's Doki and Hyoko. What? So tough people. <coughs> ah. Oh, there, that's not all. I was someone with the others who were at the hospital. The others? This is troubling. Looks like a nurse serious insane to kill while I was unaware. I can't believe it. They did such a horrible. Oh, they're both cured. I guess. Agito, Akane, you are you okay? Huh? Uh, of course. <laughs> what do you mean, of course? No way! What are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Over? <laughs> yeah, because they got bored. <laughs> well, that's the only reason. <laughs> and now the killing has started. There's no need to keep that motive around anymore. <laughs> that despair disease is gone now. Don't worry, don't worry about it anymore. What did you say? What the heck? That's impossible. I can need to spread to spread the disease and cure it so easily. Phew. Phew, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. Yeah. Well, let's go back to the main topic and proceed as usual. Ah, fuck. See it's ya later. I'll be waiting at the class trial. Oh, I shall do my best. This cannot be. Again. We have to do this again. We have no choice. Like last time, if this means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. Why do we have to do this? They can like that won't do anything. We have to do this. If we don't do anything, we'll all be executed. What do you abandon your overdependence and complete to sensitive? Those have no place in this world. But what about Nekomaru? What's go going to happen to him? Is he not going to participate this time? Is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekomaru. Oh, Akane! Huh? That's, That's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering after effects of the despair disease. Nothing you should worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about. This is bad. Since you had the lighter disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe? Leave it to me. Please leave Nakamaru to me. Everyone's focused on investigating, so I must do my very best. I'll be I will definitely bring back Nakamaru and win everyone's trust. Um. It seems we should leave Nakamaru to monitor me. What about guarding this area? Do we still need to need it? Damn it. I I stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um. It's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform the autopsy again, right? Damn right! Then I'll leave that to you. Um. Now let's get started. So we can end this night for, for good. That's right, we need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. 
I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. For those two's sake, we need to find the truth. And then we can... And then we need to end this one nightmare for once and for all. Oh boy, investigation. Huh? Ah, I'll leave the investigation part for next episode, lads. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you love this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. And I shall see you in whatever episode you watch next in channel, man. Peace. Peace.